Hey, it's Mac with PriceActionTradingSystem.com, and this is Wednesday, it's September the 18th. This will be our chart lesson for today, and um, I want to talk about a few other things before we get to the chart lesson. And uh, I will say this: um, notice that I call this a chart lesson. I don't call this Max Trading Results. And uh, that's for a reason, and, and this kind of stems from some of the, um, a little bit from the video yesterday and uh, some of the posts that we've had on some of the videos lately. And uh, I've always tried to make this very clear, um, although some people just come along and they watch a few minutes of a video and they don't really know what's going on, they don't understand what we're trying to do and they start nitpicking and, and one thing leads to another. And generally I ignore those people, but they've really, you know, I don't know if it's a good sign, it's probably a good sign that, you know, people are looking at what we're doing. Um, so maybe it's a good sign, maybe it's a bad sign, but people are really just, you know, it's just, a, it's, and it's not a lot of people, it's just two or three people that uh, continually, and, and occasionally somebody like the guy with the trend lines that just drops in and, um, you know, out of the blue, and they make some comment, and generally those people are gone, and you never see them again, and I just ignore them, but uh, there's been some other people that, you know, no matter what I do here, people always want to know, I guess let me back up a step here before I, before I go down that road. Again, this is a chart lesson. The idea of what I do here every day is not to show my trades. I don't, I've said this before a hundred times, I don't always take every trade I show, um, this is not to show my trading. What good does showing my trades do to anybody to help them learn how to read a price chart? What I'm trying to do here is show you the setups so that you can study them and learn them yourself. Uh, a lot of times I'll talk about a trade if I took it and I'll tell you what I was thinking or what I saw or what I did. But that doesn't mean I took every trade on this chart. It doesn't mean that I come in here every day and take every one of these trades. No. And it doesn't mean that I don't have losing trades either, but I'm not showing my trades. So it's not that I'm, people won't say, why don't you ever show your losers? Well, I'm not showing even my winners. The idea here is to show you the setups. Occasionally, I will show you a trade that I took. If you go back and watch the videos, I'll tell you, show you where I screwed up or made a mistake, and I'll, and I'll circle that trade and explain it. And uh, and then other times I'll tell, I'll, you know, it, Say, let's just assume I took this trade out right here. I might talk about how I entered it and what I did. But the idea behind these videos are not, there's nothing to do with my trading. This is not max trading results every day. And so I, I want people to understand that. And I think what I'm going to do is start, uh, you know, just clarifying the beginning of every video that this is not my trading. This is, this is a chart lesson to show you what I saw today so that you can learn to do to read the chart and learn the techniques that, that we teach on your own not you know I could go and just show you my four or five trades every day and be done with it and but what how does that help you learn to draw the trend lines how does that learn to help you spot these trend channels how does that learn to let you help you spot the traps and things like that it doesn't and so the idea here again is to is to not show my trades. This has nothing to do with max trading, and and, I, I, and I'm not gonna uh, going forward. Um, if anybody posts anything negative or ask me any kind of negative question, or if anybody asks me about my trading results or my trading, I'm going to ignore it. So it's not that I don't want to answer it. I've shown you know, and this is what really bothers me. People first says, you know, I tell this stuff, and then people start posting more. You, you know, you never you never show any real trades. Why don't you show some real trades? So I show a real trade. Uh, well, you know, why don't you show us your trading results? Show us some of your trading results. So I post my trading results. Well, you know, he's recording the trades. Now I've got some guy saying, you know, posting that I recorded the trades. And, you know, or basically what he's accusing me of is saying that the trades are... I don't even know how to use it to be honest with you, uh, but there's some way you can go in and record the chart as it's creating every day, and then you can go back and replay it and try to trade it. And so that's what he's claiming is that I'm the trades I show are replays. And I mean, you know, 
it never ends. No matter what I show or what I tell, some people are never happy. But it shouldn't matter anyway. What This has nothing to do with max trading. If you look at what we're teaching and, and what's going on here, if you find value in it, that's all that should matter. Sure, it'd be nice to know that, hey, the guys teaching it can trade too. But I think I've proven that more than once. And if what I've shown you is not good enough, then this is probably not for you. Uh, you know, I don't charge anything for these videos. Yes, I have a website and I do sell some manuals. But how many times have you ever had me make a plug for any of our manuals in, in a video? Never. I never plug the manuals. Uh, I can tell you this. I get probably 25 to 30 emails a day from people asking me questions about the videos, trying to learn this, and they never bought anything from me. And never, not once, do I say, hey, you need to buy the manual. I answer their questions. And I know that there's some of you listening that you know this is the truth. And, you know, if you don't believe that, then I'm sorry. I, I don't know what to tell you. So going forward, um, at the start of each video, I'm going to I'm gonna make a clarification statement that these are not max trades. These are... This is a chart lesson. I'm showing you how to find the trades so you can learn to watch them yourself. And, uh, you know, I, I, I'm going to tell you another story. I mean, every, you know, every so often I, I tell myself, you know, I've had enough of this. It's not worth it. Um, you know, the chump change that I make uh, from selling manuals is, 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 is chump change. The money is made in the trading, and I can assure you of that. And, you uh, so, you know, several times I've told myself, you know, enough is enough. Let's just forget the, let's just close this, this videos down, quit doing them, and, uh, and move on. And as soon as I make that decision every time, I'll get an email or somebody will send me a note and, and, and they'll tell me how literally I changed their life. And, and then I know, I mean, it's, it's amazing. Today I decided that I would, this was probably going to be my last week. I really had gotten to that point. Um, I told myself today's going to be the last week I'm going to do the videos. I was going to announce it today. And I kid you not, I got an email from a gentleman, and I hope he doesn't mind me sharing this. I'm not going to say his name or anything. But he just told me a story that, um, I mean, literally, I got emotional about it and, um, and about, and I don't even want to tell his story because I haven't asked him if it's okay. But uh, if the gentleman's listening and he wants to post that that this really happened, you know, that he sent me, he knows who he is. Um, he knows what he sent me uh, about his grandson, and uh, so he knows who he is. And uh, and it, and you know, so that just answers my question to myself. Uh, it's not time to stop this. That's the reason I do this for for those kind of stories. And um, if that gentleman, you know, I'm not asking you to do it, but if you want to post in the video that, yeah, he's telling the truth, I sent him the email, because he knows who he is. He knows what I'm talking about with his grandson. And, um, I mean, literally, I'm getting emotional right this minute thinking about what he told me. And, um, and I'm not an emotional person. I'm a very strong, uh, cold, you know, person that can put on my cold attitude when I want to. Uh, but his story touched me and it, it's it's was a answer to a prayer that hey it's not time for me to stop this so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna make some changes I'm gonna and they're not even big changes I'm just gonna preface every video with the statement uh, right up front that you know this is not max trading results this is a chart lesson on how to read a price chart and how to trade with price action that's the that's the premise. That was the reason we started doing this. And really, I started doing it for a few friends and family. And I never intended it for, to grow into this. It just happened. And, um, you know, for whatever reason, it happened. And, uh, and, you know, if I've been able to help your trading, that's why I did it. And, that's, and I, I hope I did. Um, and, you know, do I get some benefit out of it? Yes, I get some benefit. I do sell some manuals. Again, I'm not getting rich selling manuals. And somebody posted something about the guy sells five or ten manuals a day at $100. That's a joke. I, you know, I'm not going to sit here and tell you how many manuals I sell. But I can tell you, I don't sell five or ten manuals a day. Trust me. It's not, you know, I don't make that kind of money selling manuals. And uh, most of it I do for free. 
and uh, and and most of the money I do bring in, it goes to my son as his allowance. So I mean, not not my trading. Let me clarify that. Not my trading money, but uh, uh, anything I make off the website and the manuals. Most of it goes to my son. Some of it goes to charity, and uh, and that's basically it. Uh, so you know you can believe that if you want to. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna send you my tax statement, so don't ask me. Uh, you know what difference does it make where the money goes or how much? You know what difference does it make if you if what I'm giving you here for free has value? Take use it and take advantage of it and 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 try to you know hopefully it helps you. And if it doesn't, just move on go there there's trading room if you want somebody to call out trades to you and show you live trades there's people that do that and they're good at it uh but that's not me that's not what we do here and i'm never going to do that people ask me to do that people i mean i've had people literally beg me to do one-on-one -on -one trading i'm not going to do that I, i'm not interested in that um I've thought seriously about opening a trading room. I've had people ask me about it, but I just don't want to do it. I don't want to be tied down to that. I, I, you know, it's bad enough being tied to this video every day, but there, you know, like I said, I get a value from this video. The value I get from it is that it is that I continue to get better because I study my chart at the end of each day to put all this together. I don't see. I miss some of these trades in real time. I, I miss them, or, or you know, or I take some of the wrong ones in real time. Um, somebody at some guys wanting me to post my trading account online to prove that I, I'm real. You know, what difference does it make? If you like what I do, it's here. If you don't, it doesn't matter whether I lose money trading or it doesn't matter if I've never taken a trade. If I can teach you how to do it, what difference does it make? I get it. I, I really do. I know people. You know, there's always naysayers that just don't believe it's real. So those are the people that are wanting you to show them something because they don't think it's real and I don't know what to say to that other than you know look at the comments from people that say that it, it's worked for them look at the go look at my testimonial page on the website I didn't make those up just like the guy called me a liar that said that you know uh, he basically is calling me a liar saying that that my trend lines were fool I was foolish to, to believe that you could draw trend lines certain ways <laughs> The way we draw them every day and show that they work, and and then the real kicker is then when people will say that, um, hey, um, you're uh, you're you know you're recording this from or you're trading off recorded, um, you know the data is not live. In other words, is what they're saying. I mean, you can look at my chart, look at the times. I mean. Go open up one of our live trades. Um, go open up one of them. Look at the date, look at the time, and look at when it was posted. I mean, you don't have to be a rocket scientist to do that. And you can see when the trade was. Most of them I've uploaded, you know, by lunchtime on some days. So if you think that's recorded data, then I'm sorry. I don't know what else to say. I, you know, you know, it's like some people just won't be happy to... You know, there's blood in the streets, it seems like. And so I'm past that. I'm done with that. I'm not going to, like I said, I'm not going to respond to any negativity. I've almost thought about just turning off the comment sections. And I may do that. And some of you let me know because, uh, you know, I, I may go weeks without answering those comments anyway. If you want to ask me something, send me an email because I always answer all emails. And I try to do so within 24 hours, except lately over the weekend. I've been just kind of taking the weekends off and I may try to answer a few of them on Sunday but otherwise I try to answer every email every day by the time I leave anything that's come in to that point I try to answer and those of you that send it to me you know that I'm pretty quick about answering and those of you that have never bought a thing from me that know that I've answered probably dozens of questions for you and I never ask you to buy anything I've never tried to sell you anything and I'm not ever going to um, if you if, you know if you want to buy the manual, it's there. But I, you don't hear me plugging that every day. Go back and listen to my videos and see if you ever see me plug for buying our manual. So I don't you know that's where we stand. But uh, let's uh, let's get off this subject. Let's move on to positive. It's all going to be positive from here on out. And really, I, I want to apologize. 
for having to have this conversation and I really want to apologize for me getting so upset yesterday. I don't know why I just, I just had had enough, you know, it, it, you know, they're put, you know, people want to push you to the breaking point. Well, you know, it's, it's frustrating when you try to do something and you do something with good intentions and then somebody call you a liar, a fraud, uh, you know, a cheat saying that you're make, you know, that you're recording stuff after the fact you're using recorded data to show your trades. Uh, I mean, I recorded all those trades live. There's not one trade that I've posted that's not live. And, you know, you can believe that or not. And, you know, you, if you do a little investigation, you'll figure it out. And one of these guys, you know, I'm going to say this to him. I don't call his name, but, you know, he even had a post last night. Uh, he, he, he was getting ahead of himself. He thought he had caught me. Uh, he said, hey, I, you know, here you are. You're showing a live trade on a June contract. So, uh, and it's September. Well, the, the, he didn't realize the video was recorded on May 8th. So sure, I was trading the, the uh, not the June, but the July contract. Or G, actually it was June contract. Yes, uh, there is no July contract. So, uh, but anyway, I was trading the June um, contract and, uh, and, and he saw the video in, you know, yesterday so he he was he but when he realized his mistake he went and deleted his thing so I don't know uh, maybe the guy sincerely just wants to know if I can trade or not but he's but I think he has an ulterior motive just like most of them they all have you know people that question it usually have their own motives and uh, you know so anyway uh, starting today um, going forward I'll preface every video with the statement that these are not my trades this is not max trading for today this is a chart lesson on how to how to read a price chart how to find price action setups that can make you profitable because that's what we're doing that's why we call it a daily chart lesson that's why i don't call it if it was my trading i call it max daily trades and, and i'm going to try to just leave my trading out of it um you know, I know there's probably some beneficial points of me talking about it, but I think I'm just going to leave it out. I'm just going to show you the trades. And, that, and so there's not going to be any losing trades because I don't know how you go in here and say, oh, you know, if you'd enter here, this would be a loser. You can't do a chart lesson and show losing trades, really. Now, I take that back. Occasionally, I will show you one that's circling in green, like this one right here, that might be a loser. So I, so I do, you know, looking back on it, I do talk about, questionable trades that could have tripped you up and things like that when when they're easy to spot that that would could trip up a really good price action trader or, or good price action trades that fail I, I like to talk about those not many of them do fail but when they do I'll talk about them so uh, again make sure you you're clear on that and that you understand that this is not max price daily price action trades this is a chart lesson trying to help people learn how to read a price chart and how to use price action to get profitable in these markets, uh, particularly the ES. We only show trades in the ES because that's all we trade. And that's, I, I, I'm a firm believer that what you have to do is find one market and become an expert at it. Um, you know, you can watch multiple charts. Some people do it, but you're going to, you're going to probably trip yourself up. You're going to be distracted here. You're going to see a, you're going to be waiting and waiting for a good setup on this chart. And then as soon as you'll suddenly see one on the other and you'll jump over there and start watching it. And then your setup happened over here and you missed it. And then you missed the one over. It, it just, I've tried to do it. I didn't like it. I think that you're better off to pick the market of your choice and become an expert at it. Why do I like the ES? Because there's no slippage during regular hours. It's, it's very predictable. It does the same things over and over. Uh, that's why most professional traders trade the ES, but for those reasons. And uh, it's a very good market to trade. And, uh, you know, that's why I like it. And so let's, uh, that's 20 minutes worth of uh, me on my soapbox again. But this is my last soapbox <laughs> uh, conversation. I promise I'm done with this. Um, you know, it is what it is. 
I'm trying to teach price action. I'm trying to help people learn how to read a price chart, show you how to find these setups for yourself. Uh, I'm not interested in showing you my trades. That's not what this is about. Um, you know, you're not going to learn anything by me going over my trades every day. You might. I mean, I'm not going to say you couldn't pick something up. But the way you're going to learn this is for me to show you what you're looking for and how to find it every day. And this is really for, you know, people that have bought our manual. That's why we started doing this. So they could go compare their work to what I saw each day to help them learn to, to go with the manual. But you don't have to buy the manual. It's all here for free. If you want it, it's here for free. And I'm not asking you to go buy my manual. Um, you know, don't worry about that. Just you can learn it all from the videos if that's what you want. And uh, so here we go. Let's talk about the trades. Hopefully, we're all on the same page. Everybody understands. Let's talk about the trades and let's move forward here. Um, I'm really gonna have because of this because this price action out here is so big. It's really scrunched this up. So I'm gonna have to back out a little bit. There we go uh, to be able to see this because this is what most of my trading was today uh, was here the only trade I took off with well I said I wasn't gonna talk about my trades I will say the only trade I took in the afternoon was right here and I was done um, and you know so and, and this was really scary but uh, but we'll talk about that in a minute but I'm really not gonna talk about my trades I'm gonna try to leave my trading uh, out of this and we're only talking about the trade that's set up so we were in a downtrend I'll show you this first uh, and explain why this one is in green here um, notice this measured move right here and if you pull that over there or notice notice the measurement of this move right here if you pull this over here guess what you got a perfect measured move to the tick you, it doesn't get any better than that and I know some other people saw it, so I know some people are learning things because somebody sent me an email without me pointing it out. He told me about it, so I know he saw it. Um, and I explained to him. I told him not to tell anybody, but I took a counter trend trade here because I, I teach no counter trend trading. Uh, and again, here I am talking about my trades, but I'm gonna, I got to talk about this one because I told the guy. I said, you know, he was asking me about his short right here, and I was thinking long. Um, you know, generally I don't counter trend trade, but because this was a measured move on FOMC day, and I could have easily been, which I really was wrong in the, in the long run because it did go a little bit lower, but I really thought because it's FOMC day and here, and this is where, this is a good learning experience. Um, and it worked, the trade works, so it, you know, it's no big deal. But this is a good learning experience because you cannot outthink the market. I don't care how smart you are, and that's my Achilles heel in trading is that I sometimes I think I, I've gotten good at the price action, so I think I'm smarter than the market, and I break my own rules. And that's when you start losing, when you can't follow the rules. And, uh, you know, maybe I got lucky today because I bought this low right here. What I saw was a measured move. I knew we were going to find support across here, or I expected that we were going to, but the real kicker was those matching lows right there. So I put my buy stop right there, one tick in front of that measured move, and it got filled. And it took a little bit of work, but it was an easy trade. I didn't get my runner. They came back and uh, got my runner. Uh, I really thought we were going to break out of here and go back and be kind of in a range until the news came out. But the channel's here. I should have paid attention to it and, uh, and noticed the little median line. Um, there's a couple more shorts here. But let's back up. I, I showed you that first just because I didn't want to forget about it. Sometimes I forget when I get to talking about trades. This was the first trade that really set up. There's really not a good entry anywhere in here. I don't like any of these entries. Um, there's a failed second entry long right here, but notice it was just really dangerous going shorter. This has been a strong support and resistance area. Look, since yesterday it was risk resistance, support, and then all afternoon it was support, and we just bounced there, so I thought it was too risky to go short right there, especially if 
you know, there's some kind of bigger channel here. I did see this smaller channel, and that's a big reversal bar. The only way you could have entered here was if you wanted to get in back here where you got enough room to scalp out before getting here. Um, otherwise, this fails. Then we get the break, and, um, and, and again, you might have been able to get in higher on this one. You got a double top. Uh, but this is still a first entry short because we got a lower low there, and you're better off to wait on a second entry. So, but then it bounces again. And um, so I didn't like this trade. This was the first opportunity that I really thought you had a chance to go short. And the only way to do it was if you could get in way up here so you can get out before you get down here. So um, I don't like that. I think it's, and that's why I circle it in green, but... Um, it is off this this line here, but you just could not ignore the support right here. Uh, if you took this, it gave you a chance to get out. When this reversed and this closed as a doji, um, that was your clue to get out. And, and, I, and, of course, here you don't want to go short because we're not back to, even if you use the closes here, you're not back to this trend line. And it may actually be the closes right there, um, but I used those first couple of stems up there. And that looks pretty good across there. And then we bounced on it here. But it could have, you know, either way you got it there, it still works the same. You still get the same place. So this was the first one that I saw that you really got a chance to enter. And this one, and you know, first you got the doji, then this one really negative. So what you wanted to do is when it broke lower, drop your limit order in there. And uh, because you kind of had a little bit of channel here. So you wanted to get in a little further up here. And... Um, course it drops and goes straight back down to the to the low of the channel again and uh, and that's where the long came in I was thinking long down here and and the reason you don't really like shorts here is you're right you, you've now touched the low side uh, the odds are you're probably going back to the high where we couldn't get back through this right here so you might have thought about short uh, here as well um, let me back up. I skipped this trade right here. So I like long, but then when this set up here, um, there's really like a two-legged pullback. I started to make this one green too, but I like it. it. You know, it's a nice bar right there to get short below. It did pull back, but it is long. You know, your stop goes up here, and it never really threatened, and it turns back down. And, and you, um, it looked like it was going to be a failed second entry long, and it was tempting to go long there, but... You know, now you got to tell yourself everything's below the EMA. Uh, you know, just sit tight and see if we get back up here, you can take a short here. But it goes ahead and breaks higher and then turns back down. So you know you got a, a long trap there. You got a first, you know, your first entry, your pullback, your second entry long. That's counting off this low, and uh, so a chance to get short, another scalp. And then I didn't like going long here because of all the lessons I learned here, although they would have worked. And it's getting so close to the FOMC time here. Um, but notice this. I'm going to show you how this sets up. You got your break. You got your first entry. You pulled back your second entry. And it went lower. It actually opened up here and went lower. So now you got a second entry short. And then immediately when the news came out, uh, it kind of reversed. And it, this, this all started a tad early, so I don't know if the news actually came out early or people were just predicting it, but this happened so fast that I'm guessing uh, the news came out a little bit early based on, and uh, I mean, look at that move. I mean, there's a bundle of money to be made on that trade alone. And I always tell people, get flat before this, and most people probably, you know, this was a really good day, though it was obvious we were going higher here, and... Uh, I think a lot of people probably saw that. But what I tell people is be flat before that because what if you're still short here and this happens to you and you get burned really, really quickly because look how quick this happened. I mean, this bar closed at 1 o'clock and by 105, I mean, it, it you know, it's... Within one minute, all those bars had formed. So, I mean, you, you got all that within a minute. I mean, that's really, really fast. And, you know, when normally just going from bar to bar takes three to five minutes. And then suddenly you get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 
10 bars in a minute. So if you can catch that, you know, you can capitalize on all that move. And, you know, and, and what happens is people start buying. And uh, I'm going to pause this. Okay, sorry, I had a slight interruption. But then you get a two-legged correction back to where the EMA. And, um, and I'll show you something else here in a minute. Uh, but notice this little reversal right here. Um, it went lower first and then turned up and closed on its high. Great place just to drop a stop right there. Um, it pulls back, and then you get another little two-legged uh, correction back here. So uh, you got a chance to either add on if you wanted or, uh, you know, you never would have gotten stopped out of this one. It actually pulled back here for a minute, uh, and you might have been ready to go long again above that bar, but notice it never filled. And then you get a second entry long right here. Um, actually, counting off the low, your second entry was right here. So you could have entered right there, but if you did, your your stop should have been still definitely right here. But, you know, I probably would have used down here if I could get it within my two points. Um, so I didn't like entering on that one, though, because of all the overlap. Look, one, two, three, four bars now. And so it did trap people, but then you get the failed second entry short. Notice this low. First entry, pull back second entry. That's a nice trap. And look at that move up again. And uh, and notice this line right here. Um, you know, I just pulled it first. You know, I pulled it right here. And, you know, you don't know this going to fit there until it gets here later. But that's where you put And actually, originally, I think I had it right there. Um, and if you pulled it to the top, you could have seen... You know, originally I think I had it here, but when it turned down there, I just moved it down a little bit. And you can see how that turn price is right there. But that's the same line, the same angle is right down here. And I drew that right off those lows. According to Andre, that never works. That's wrong. And there's no way I could trade off that. So, <laughs> sorry, I couldn't resist that one. Uh, but, uh, you know that's where I got that angle of that line and notice how it ended up holding prices here and it came real close to touching here and so maybe in the end this is like up here like so let's see if that and look at there it almost touches those two lines and holds them right there and that probably let's just check it I haven't even checked this yet but let's just check it and see if it doesn't give us two equal quadrants on our channel Pretty close. Two equal quadrants should be right there. And look at that. That's a perfect bounce. It doesn't catch this one, but it gives you a perfect bounce right there. And so I'm guessing that right there, and, and that trend line does fit those closes right up through there. So I like that. And uh, and you can see that's right where it bounced. Um, you know, you'd want to see it bounce there again before you got really interested in it because, honestly, that's the first pullback to it since here. And that's a long time, so there's not much confirmation of that line, really. You know, if it turns down and bounces again, then you might get interested in going long off that if you're trading the overnight stuff and so forth. But let's get back to the trades here. Uh, that was a second entry long. Where does it go? It goes up to here. And, again, I had this here first. Uh, and but when it turned down there, I just kind of pulled it down a little bit, and guess what? It fits right across there, so I left it there. Uh, then you get another second entry long right here off the EMA, and notice there's a little—you can't really see it because of—but notice there's a little trap. Let me make it bigger. Uh, again, it's similar to this: first entry, pull back, second entry, short, and it reverses. Um, this is one where you definitely notice the little overlap right there. Uh, if you entered here, you definitely wanted to use a limit order uh, to try to sneak in. And usually what I'll do is use the close. And notice it got, actually you could have gotten maybe one tick more than that. So you could have gotten all the way down to this close. <clears throat> so, but it's the second entry long. Um, you know, it's in an uptrend. The, you know, the market liked what it heard from the FOMC. And then guess what? Another two-legged pullback. It's a triple bottom now this is proven support look how many times it bounced right there one two three four bars and then it bounces again so i like that enough that you could go long right there if you wanted 
it's usually better to wait on the second entry counting off the low because you're kind of trending back down but there's also this line right here that we're you know we're finding some support and resistance on let me get that right on that low there and um and so then you get a second entry long again. It didn't quite close on the tie, but, I, you know, it's really good enough that you could enter that with a stop. But because there's two ticks there, I would have probably used a lemon order right at that close. And look, it broke higher, pulled back, and closed down here and got you just enough to get in right there. And then, boom, off it goes again. And another great move. And, um, and that was the last, you know, by that time, there's not any really more good entries up through here. There is a set failed second entry long somewhere up through here, right here. Notice the new low, first entry, pull back, second entry, and it immediately went out the high side. You could have entered there maybe. Um, it's not quite 2 o'clock yet by that time, so um, you could have even entered. I'll, I'll just go ahead and circle that one because this is a chart lesson about finding trades. And so I like that one right there. Uh, because it's a failed second entry short. Anybody that follows our work knows how powerful those are. And then guess where this turns down? Right there where that previous line was. Boom, right there. Um, again, you'd be counter trend trading to go short here. But guess what? It usually happens. It comes off the high side. It goes to the low side. But this is a good example that sometimes it goes higher and runs the stops before it ends up getting over here. So it's, you don't want to counter trend trade, and that goes all the way back to me talking to myself down here, even though I got lucky and this trade worked. Um, looking back at it, you know, you can't be out try, trying to outsmart the market, you know, um, even though it worked. So um, I could have easily gotten, I almost did get shaken out of that trade, and I could have easily because once you, you know, once you enter like that, but by the time it gets up here, I've got some, you know, enough ticks in it because it's got to come all the way back down to here just to find my entry point, and um, and so I had multiple time to think about that. But it, it, you know, I was out of that scout pretty quick, and then you get this, and these are really hard to catch, you know. Uh, but if you can catch one, you know, you just you almost got to pre-anticipate it, and sometimes that's dangerous. Um, but I don't know why I really. I really expected this, but again, you, you know, you can't go by what you expected. You got to go by what you see. So, you know, I got to take that to heart myself and, um, you know, make sure I follow the rules because that's what will get you not following the rules. Uh, so uh, hopefully uh, that all makes sense to you and hopefully you understand what we're trying to do here. Again, this is not max trading results this is a chart lesson on how to read a price chart and how to find today's trades on today's chart and uh you know uh you can see <laughs> there's no trades here but you know you can see today's the 18th 451 when i'm doing this a little bit after the close today um i'm a little late doing this because i really thought hard about the videos today and uh like i said it almost decided i was just going to come on and tell you that this was the end of the um, chart lessons and uh, that we were going to move forward and do something different. But, you know, like I said, I got the email from the gentleman. It changed, you know, it, it spoke to me. It changed my mind. And we're going to do this thing. So uh, but we're going to do it like I talked about. And I'm going to preface every video with the uh, statement that these are not my trades. Yes, I took some of these trades. Uh, yes, I might have taken some trades I don't mark, but that's not about my trading. I'm trying to teach you how to find these trades and how to do this. And, and, and if you watch enough of our videos, you'll see that this is not, stuff is not made up. It's not, it, it's not, uh, it's not an accident when we find these trades. You can do this. I mean, it's there. It's not easy to do. No, it takes a long time to learn this. And that's what happens is that people try it for a month or two and they get, they're not unsuccessful and they're like, ah, this don't work. And then they're on to the next holy grail. And, you know, even if you don't like what we do, find something that you know works and stick to it till you learn it because that's what really happens to traders. And, uh, and I know this because I, I struggled with this back in my early days too. You read something, you try it once or twice, it fails. And so then you're on to reading the next thing and you're looking for the next best thing. 
and you never stick with anything long enough to prove it really works because even though you read it and you think you understand it you don't have a full understanding of it it takes a long time and uh, if you really want to be a profitable trader I can promise you um, the the real way to get there is to learn to read a price chart and to understand what's going on and let me throw something else out there at you everybody understands this flat horizontal support and resistance line that's easy to see notice it's acting as resistance here and it's acting as support and most everybody understands that you buy support and you sell resistance and by, when you do that you trading gets easy it gets easier I shouldn't say it gets easy it gets easier alright now that you understand that and hopefully you agree with that because if you don't you need to go study that and learn that so now that you understand that, if you ha don't, go study it, go Google it, figure out, you know, understand the, the importance of support and resistance in trading. And once you do, then I want you to understand that these angled lines here are no different than this line here. This is a trading range on an angle. And I, I explain this every so often, but people, you know, they don't always see every video. So... Uh, I'm going to try to remind people that more often. So the same theories that work off of these lines, uh, or I should say that work off these horizontal lines, work off these slanted ones. It's no different. So what we're trying to do is find lines where that hold the price action neatly to prove that we're in that trading range, that angled trading range, or in that trend that's following that, that angled range. And that's the premise of this. I can show you this over and over. Where do all the best trades set up off these lines? Look where this good setup came off, off that line. And, you, and, and, I, and people will tell me, you didn't have that line there then. By golly, don't tell me that. I found it off these lows. When it came right across those lows, I drew that line and I drug it to the top. And guess where it turned down? So don't tell me I didn't have that line there. <laughs> so I'm getting on my soapbox. I promised I wouldn't. But um, if you don't understand what we're doing, don't tell me that, I, that it can't be done because it can be done. Just like I showed you this line right down here that I drew off here and then I drag it up and lo and behold, it fits there. You drag it up and it fits there. I, we do this every day. It works, people. Trust me, it works. You know, doubt it if you want, but I can promise you it works. And, uh, and so... You know, you won't always find this setup here by finding the line off the bottom. No, you won't because it won't. Sometimes it won't work that way, but I can tell you it works that way many times. Let me just show you right here. Uh, here's let's see if this one works. Let's say you had that angle right there off those closes. And. You had it right after this turn down, you drew that line across there. And if you drag it down to the lows, guess where it bounced? Right there. So you could have found, you could have been prepared for that bounce right there by having that line right there. And, you know, it's drawn across. Sometimes it's through the stem, sometimes it's through the closing. But what I'm looking for is where it fits the best. Where do you get the most touches and turns? You Preferably closes too. Right there. You can see that. I'm not making that up, and, and let me show you what it would have looked like right at right then. That's what it would have looked like. And so you drag it down here, and you do the same thing on the low side. And guess where it bounces? Look at those closes. I, we do this every day, so don't tell me it won't work. Uh, that's what that's the whole premise behind finding these ranges. And just like yesterday morning, let me show you this one. Um, you got that little thing going on right there and it bounced right there at what time 8.30 so you copy that you paste it and you drag it up there and lo and behold where does it fit right there um, you know really you could have had it here to find you know even if you didn't see this that's pretty obvious right there and you might even straighten it out just a little since it's off those tops alright there it is and you could have had that by this long before this turned down right here and so then you copy that and you paste it 
And let me, well, before I even do that, let's just hide that other stuff. You know, it's right there. You see it's turning down. Let's move this down here and see what happens. And guess where it bounces two more times that you could have bought that. And maybe even three if you used a limit order. It works. All this, all this is, is an angled support and resistance line. Just, it's no different than this. So uh, this video is getting extremely long, uh, but I think it's all good stuff. So, um, but I'm going to wrap it up. It's 45 minutes worth. Um, again, if you enjoy what we do here and you find any value in it, you know, I welcome you to use the information. Send me questions. I'll answer them. Whether you buy my manual or not, I'll always answer them. Um, you won't hear me make any plugs to buy my manual, but if you know it's there, um, you're not going. I'm going to try as hard as I can not to talk about my trades uh, because that's not what this is about. This is about finding the entries each day on your own and learning how to read a price chart and how to draw these lines and find these entry points, and and me explaining why they work. Um, so hopefully it's helpful to you. Use it if it's of no value to you. Don't sit around and try to belittle me or any of the other posters or, or people that view it or try to say it doesn't work. You know, you're just being, you're just, you know, you, people that do that have other motives. And, you know, they can say they don't, but they do. They have other motives. And, um, and we don't, you know, I'm not, I'm trying to discourage that. You know, this is a, you know, this isn't about me. This is about a price chart and learning how to read it and draw lines and and you know I encourage people um, to post more information in the you know on, on the comment section if you want to you know if you can add to it add to it because um, there's other people out there that know how to do this I know they are because they send me their stuff and um, but most people that most traders that are profitable that can do this won't show you this stuff. I'm not doing that because I want you to pat me on the back. I'm not looking for anything out of this personally. And that's why I've tried to stay low key as possible. That's why I've tried to stay as private about a lot of this as possible. Because I'm not looking for any fame or fortune out of this. I, I'm just trying to, I just enjoy doing it. And I'm trying, and it helps my trading. And it, if, it, if I can help my trading and help other people trade, I want to do that. So it's not about any kind of gain for me other than that. And if you don't want to believe that, I'm sorry. So, but anyway, we're almost to 50 minutes. Uh, I promised I wouldn't get on my soap opera anyway, on my soapbox anyway. And a soap opera, you know, going back that this is like a soap opera sometimes around here. Uh, but I'm done. And I'm not going to, again, I'm not going to reply to the negativity. I'm not going to show you my trading results. I'm not going to talk about my trading. I'm not going to show you my account. Uh, it doesn't change anything, even if I did. Uh, I've tried to show you all that, and, and it's obviously not good enough. So, um, But I'm going to wrap it up, and this is how we're going to move forward each day. Um, I'm going to ignore any comments. If you if you ask a negative question or make a negative comment, I won't answer it. So you're wasting your time. And um, you know, if if you don't have anything good to say, just move on. You know, we don't. You know, let's just, just all be friends and um, get what we can out of this. And if it's not of any value to you, don't use it. That's that's where I'm going to leave it. So um, have a great week. Uh, have enjoy the rest of your evening. It's uh, 5 o'clock, and I want to get out of here. I'm, I don't like being here this late. And uh, so I'm going to wrap it up. This is Mac with PriceActionTradingSystem.com, and we'll see you next time.